viewers, welcome to Divine Consulting, a place where we connect people, innovation and technology to create a successful result for our clients. My name is Lucky Igwe. Before I proceed with today's topic, please subscribe to my channel so that you'll be the first to be notified when a new video is released. We'll be looking at the monitor step of the NIST Risk Management Framework. The objective of the monitor step is to monitor the security state of the system to ensure that vulnerabilities are identified and remediated in a timely manner and also to ensure that threat changes to the system remains within an acceptable level of risk. The NIST publication that is used for continuous monitoring is the NIST 800-137 which is the Information System Continuous Monitoring for Federal Information Systems and Organizations. There are various tasks that fall under the monitor step of the NIST Risk Management Framework. The first task is the system and environment changes. Under this task, the system and its environment of operation are monitored for changes that could impact the security and privacy posture of the system. The next task is the ongoing assessment. Under this task, the security controls that are implemented within and inherited by the system are assessed based on the continuous monitoring strategy of the organization. The next task is the ongoing risk response. Under the risk response, risks are responded to based on the continuous monitoring strategy and a risk assessment is also conducted to determine the risk impact to the organization activity and any outstanding item in the plan of action and milestone are also remediated. The next task is the authorization package update. Under this task, the authorization package like the system security plan, the plan of action and milestone, and the security assessment report are updated based on the continuous monitoring process. The next task is the security and privacy reporting. Under the security and privacy reporting, the security and privacy status of the system are reported to the authorizing official and any organizational official within the agency. The next task is the ongoing authorization. Under the ongoing authorization, the security and privacy posture of the system are reviewed on an ongoing basis to determine if the risk to the system is still within an acceptable level. The next task is the system disposal. Under the system disposal, a system disposal strategy is implemented. This actually talks about the process involved in decommissioning a system from the network. Some of the activities involved in the monitor step of the NIST risk management framework is the vulnerability management. The vulnerability management involves conducting vulnerability scan on the system, which is a RA5 control, and remediation actions are conducted for any identified vulnerability. The next is the point management. Plan of action and milestone is a CA5 control. It is used to document any identified vulnerabilities and is used to track vulnerabilities to remediation. The next is the security documents. Security documents are reviewed and updated under the continuous monitoring process. Security documents like the system security plan, the contingency plan, contingency plan test, amongst others. The next is the security control assessment. During the security control assessment, security controls that were previously assessed that failed and that are now remediated are reassessed to determine the control effectiveness. I hope you find this video helpful. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.